Oh God, I did that in one breath. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna pass out. I'm not fit enough to be a moto vlogger. Yo, what is up guys, Duke DC here. Welcome to another video and welcome to the 2019 riding season. I'm so excited to be back out on bikes. Today we are on the absolutely gorgeous 2019 Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer Edition. Look at this thing. First video on the new camera. Cool. All right, do you want to run through some stuff on camera? Yeah. All right, so this is the 2019 Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer Edition. This is my man Sam here at District Harley Davidson, and he's going to run through some of the facts. So, what do I need to know? So, in 2019, they've added cornering ABS to every model. Okay. Also, something that didn't have before, we have a gear indicator now and a fuel gauge. Nice. A lot of people probably asked for that. Yeah. Also, hydraulic clutch. Okay. And daytime running lamp. Which is really, really cool. A little piece of aesthetic. This is a beautiful bike. It's something I was yeah, talking to you about. Livery. Oh yeah. Uh, they've done the wire spoke wheels now. And then we've got, so people can come through, they can change any of these panels out, uh, different seat color options. This comes off for a pillion. Um, of course, you, I'm sure aftermarket, you can figure out something with a license plate, stock exhaust, uh, but they do sell, is it Termis for this? Terminoni from Ducati, and then of course there's aftermarket options. A few aftermarket options. Otherwise, I mean, this is a really beautiful stock bike. Like, you know, first thing you notice, it's got the bar and mirrors, so that's kind of taken care of. There's not a whole lot about this that I would change. LED turn signals also this year. Okay, very cool. So we got LED turn signals, and it sounds pretty damn good. See if you guys can hear that. Of course, we'll give it some more when we go. Awesome, and then this MSRP 11995? Yes. Okay, 11995, it's an 800 cc, which is kind of the middle of the pack for the Scrambler, 400 being the lowest that they sell, and then 1200? 1100. 1100 being the highest displacement you can get. So this is a pretty awesome kind of mid-level cafe racer bike from Ducati. It's not super expensive, it's really pretty, and when I walked in, it was the first bike that caught my eye, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah, enjoy the ride. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're getting old. 2019 Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer Edition. Uh, and I am smitten by this color scheme and the, the kind of livery, as Sam put it. The Cafe Racer style is one that I'm very familiar with and very, very interested in. I've always thought to myself that one day I should get a cafe racer. But we'll run through all the little facts again. 800 cc. It's the middle of the pack scrambler. This is the cafe racer edition. All new features for 2019 are standard uh, cornering ABS. It's got a fuel gauge now. It has a gear indicator and it has that beautiful LED daytime running light as well as LED turn signals. This bike comes in at an MSRP of $11,995, which uh, yes, it's a bit expensive when you are comparing it maybe to some of the other brands, but for a Ducati, it's absolutely not that bad. Um, and especially with everything that's now starting to come on these bikes. When the Scrambler was first released, I'll be the first one to admit it was a bit of a bare bones concept from Ducati. They're trying to capture this audience that was going to be like, all right, I kind of want a Ducati, but I'm not really sure. Now the Scrambler has evolved. It's developed into something much more important for the Ducati brand. You guys know I love shifting through the gears unnecessarily, which is what I just did there. And that's really just to test the gearbox, see how everything feels. And on this, it's really, really smooth. That hydraulic clutch that's new for 2019 uh, is like butter, I swear. There is no effort needed to pull that, and uh, I really like it, especially if you're someone like me who has to sit in traffic a fair amount, and you're in first gear, and you're you know on and off the clutch pretty frequently. It helps tremendously to have a light clutch. This will also make uh, downshifting and um, any sort of control on the track 
that much easier. Ducati has grown out of its old reputation. I'm telling you that. I think that these bikes are more reliable than they used to be. I certainly think that they are far easier to ride than they used to be. The word Ducati doesn't necessarily have to be something that only uh, hardcore enthusiasts and motorcycle experts talk about. This is a bike that I would recommend to somebody who has just been riding for a few months to a year. You know, the 400 is not my favorite motorcycle. I've ridden that and I just think it doesn't have the power and for the price, you can go somewhere else. You know, that's my personal opinion when it comes to a beginner or low displacement motorcycle. This, at an 800, it's not too powerful. It's certainly not underpowered. Uh, throttle response is really learner friendly. Fun little bit of road. Yeah, this, this is a really nice scrambler. You know, I haven't been the biggest fan of the scramblers. Uh, as much as I understand their place in Ducati, from a business perspective, it's brilliant. From an enthusiast perspective, I always thought that they were lacking something. This bike fills that void, I'm telling you what. I don't know what it is either. I think it's just dialed in a little bit more. I think this feels like what I wanted Ducati to feel like. Before, the Ducatis were so catered to new riders that they started to feel numb. They started to feel lazy. This feels much more precise and much, much, much better. I need to tuck my shirt in and feel the wind getting under there. So wind protection on a cafe racer, you know, not a super priority and on this bike it's no different. I don't really have much, although I will say that the headlight and the uh, kind of cowl that go around it are doing a fairly good job of keeping the wind off my chest. I don't feel like, you know, I'm super cold or anything like that from chest wind. Uh, but there is a fair amount going around my helmet. It's not creating any buffeting though, and it's kind of letting the aerodynamics of the helmet do its thing. Wow, I'm changing my sentiment. I think I would take this to the track. I think this would be a really fun bike to put on the track. I would probably take off as many body panels as I possibly could, just to save some cash in case I went down. Um, and of course, put some uh, race protection on it. Otherwise, it feels so good. They feel sporty enough, right? Like I don't feel like I'm upright on like what would be kind of a, a classic scrambler. I do feel like I'm into a sport bike, but I'm also not hunched over to where my back is crying for help. God, you could live in fourth gear. Super long. It really wants to turn in more. Like, I go to slightly turn it on these little bends, and it's just like, more please, more, more, more. Wow. Good job, Ducati. Proud of you guys. This is, this is a really big uh, step in the right direction, in my personal opinion. Like, the Scrambler model could go two ways. It could have died out as being a failed experiment for kind of a mid-level uh, entry bike. And instead, it's developed into almost its own sub-brand of Ducati. It really is. Like, the Scrambler, Scrambler is a brand. It's not just a model. They sell jackets, shirts. You know, they've got this enormous parts catalog for these bikes. This is a brand within the brand that is Ducati. And they're doing a really good job of it. Bravo. You know, I was in Milan in November, very fortunate to have been there for the ICMA motorcycle show. And I'm actually ashamed of myself because I spent way too much time <laughs> drooling over the brand new V4R and not enough time taking a look at these little bikes. And by little, I mean these pretty awesome bikes. Oh my God. 
This is the best little loop that I've found recently. All right, we're gonna let the uh, Land Cruiser get ahead of us just a skosh and kind of wrap things up on this. So, you know, quick little first ride and review. Uh, the first bike that I've taken out in the spring 2019 riding season. Dude, it, this is a serious bike. This is a fantastic <laughs> motorcycle. All right, so I wanna wrap up, you know, get those points across. So first and foremost, thank you District Harley-Davidson here in Gaithersburg, Maryland, for giving me the opportunity to take out this beautiful Ducati Scrambler. Um, next, let's just round it up. So what is this? This is a Ducati Scrambler Cafe Racer Edition. It's the 800cc, which is the middle of the pack model. Uh, it comes in at $11,995, that is the MSRP. It is a magnificent motorcycle. The throttle response is great. Uh, it feels incredibly agile. Uh, more power than I probably need on the road. It's got updated features for you know viewing pleasure. It has the fuel gauge as well as the uh, gear indicator. It's got the hydraulic clutch. It's got this gorgeous LED daytime running light. It's got these LED turn signals. It's got lean angle ABS. This is a Ducati that's being brought up to the year that we're in. Like this is a 2019 Ducati Scrambler. And it's not just a 2017 that they're strapping a 2019 badge on. No, no, no. This is a brand new Ducati Scrambler in a lot of big ways. And I'm a huge fan of this bike. So if you have an opportunity, check out the link in the description for Rolic and see if you can't find one in your local area. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Four years of Duke of DC, and I promise you that I have some incredibly big news coming up. So as always, please click that like button, comment down below, and I will see you on the next one. Peace!